April 18th, 10.40 a.m. He just busted out of his shackles! Bus. Yeah, what was that all about? Guess they don't make shackles like they used to. <laughs> Better be careful, Apollo. You really brought out the samurai and them. He's gonna stab like you. Used to. <laughs> In what regard, Apollo? What, what, what time period are we talking? Especially after you proved there was Tin Mataro, a Tin Mataro impersonator at the manor. <sighs> What's with that guy and the whole samurai act, anyway? Such okay. fine swordsmanship. That is no mere act. Mr. Justice, it's high time I challenged this jailhouse prosecutor to a duel. Oh my god, no! Bro, let's save the dueling until after we prove you're innocent. I suppose it could wait until later. Oh, fight this dude like he's Sakuna. <sighs> Does anyone remember we're conducting a trial here? No. Athena, I'm gonna go take a shit. What Blackwell Apo said, Apollo, don't be late. I'll just skip it. Oh, between me and my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> skip it. Three yeah. minutes later. Damn. <laughs> you have the. Uh... Time to uh, confirm. And now then, uh, I believe our next witness is Miss Jinxie Tenma, a maid at Chuby Manor. I believe we can pros uh, proceed now, if the witness is ready, that is. Uh, no way. <laughs> Leader of the 100 Demons! He really Just does so you, exist! Just I so you know, the name anime. is Yari Juan. Yeah. Naughty horn. Uh, I would say naughty horn, but I don't know if it's correct. Well, that is one well polished tray. The witness will show her case, face while in court, or her testimony will be inadmissible. <laughs> Damn it. What is it, my child? Be gone, Noria Hyun. Leader of the 100 Demons? Oh, you think I'm a yokai? Well, I was known as a judicial monster of sorts. The beast of the bar, the demon of due process, if you will. Look at this nigga gassing himself up. I was Demon the leader of the five boy generals. <laughs> Demon a deep process? Not sure I can see that one. I like that alliteration. Now, you little scamp. Yes. Well, it worked on there too. I trust you know why you're here. <laughs> Bags. Bags? Oh, that tricksy tanuki. Max. Try the noodle stand, and go enjoy a big bowl of tanuki tail noodles while you're at it. Everyone's a comedian. No, I meant your bags. The ones under your eyes. You must have trouble sleeping. Here, this shall remove the azukai kiarai away. Azu Azukirai? The yokai that washes Azuki beans? The nigga that got- <laughs> The nigga that got body by Pusha T? <laughs> the only thing needing washing will be your father's neck before I take his head clean off. Azukirai often keeps people up at night with the noise he makes washing beans. But if you stick this charm on your forehead, you won't hear him anymore. I, is that so? Well, thank you. Looks like uh, Blackwell got more than he bargained for. They're bad enough alone, but together those two are just plain creepy. Your testimony, if you please, Mr. Not. Specifically, whether or not you saw Tenno Taro when you discovered the crime scene. Right, show up the sense before 10. 
in like 30 minutes. Did I hopefully. see Tenma Taro in the flux chamber? Uh, well, uh, when I opened the door, uh, I saw. I saw. Yes, now I remember. Y yokai! Yokai! Right there in the room! Nigga. So there was a yokai at the scene of the crime? Uh huh. Lots, lots of them. Lots of them. But ugh, more than one yokai. Tematoro happened to be among us. Among us. I don't know. I just don't know. All I know is that the room was swimming in yokai. Kasha, Yurikabe, Setataisho. They were all there. Maybe there's something about her we just don't know about. Hmm. <laughs> <Yeah, she's laughs> Boss is home for imaginary friends, like, damn. Yeah. Oh, this is an unexpected turn of events. We've gone from no yogi to a flood of them. This is ludicrous. You would, have this <laughs> you would have this court listen to this delusional little scamp's testimony. Ah! Bro, why are you throwing dismantles at me? I didn't even do it. <laughs> Your Honor, I believe her memory is simply clouded by fear. Mom, but these feats are crazy. And Hollows has dodged like all of those. <laughs> but a quick therapy session should ease your mind. With this court's permission, of course. A fabulous idea. Please proceed, Miss Sykes. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Athena? Self is not herself. The trauma of discovering the crime scene. In fear of testifying ever, dazed and confused. A regular ball of confusion. Well, my analytical psychology-based approach should be able to help. Uh, any objections? Professor Blackwell? Shall we let Miss Sykes proceed? <laughs> it makes no difference to me. Do as you will, but I doubt we shall get any viable testimony. Should be better served by, by bearing witness to the sword skills I forged in a distant land. Hmm, I'll show you. So she can use her ability, but I can't? Well, you got hit with the stupid beam. <laughs> yeah, you got hit with the stupid beam and the nerfs. Damn, that shit is so huge. Damn. Did, did I see Tin Mataro in the black chamber? Well, when, when I opened the door, uh, I saw... I saw... Yes, now I remember! Yokai, Yokai, right there in that room! They all dancing. Found something. Hmm. Looks like an out of control emotion. Uh, the Dino? What the fuck is this? Oh, this? It's one of Widget's functions. Right here you can see images and emotions extracted from the witness's voice. Oh, you mean that little thing can do all this? Pretty cool, huh? Here I thought it was just some kid's toy. Fortunately, all I'm getting is an overflow of air right now. See how sad it is brightly lit there at the bottom left? She's under an uncontrollable amount of distress, which is masking her other emotions. It seems the sheer terror she experienced has made her a confused mess. So, all those yokai she thinks she saw are product of rampant emotions? Yep, that's right. Her fear is instilled in her the hallucinations and false memories. She's seeing normal everyday objects as monsters in her mind. It's a form of schizophrenic hallucination brought on by emotional trauma. And the trauma in Jinxie's case is fear. Sure she was, and still is, seeing ordinary objects as yokai. I'll have to find the root cause of her extreme fear before I can treat it. Now, let's see.
Apollo, you can point out the yokai on the Wheel of Fire. Can you? She seems particularly terrified of that one. Of course she is. That's Maharaga's wheel. Start by pressing probe. The key key. Now point to what's causing Jinxies out of um, control emotions. Finally hit probe again and try to get to the heart of the matter. Okay, let's give this a try. Got it! Jinxie? What's the name for that yokai on a wheel of fire? <laughs> That's Kasha, the yokai that steals the bodies of the recently deceased. I bet it came to steal the aldermans. It's almost creepy how well it fits the actual situation. Exactly. It's a form of hallucination where the patient can't see things for what they are. There must be something at the scene of the crime that she's mistaking for Akasha. <laughs> Apollo, I need to point out what she thought was a yokai of... What what she thought was a yokai on a wheel of fire. Hmm. I think I know the answer now. Inksy, that wasn't Akasha you saw. Could you have possibly mistaken this for Akasha? Um, the, the literal chandelier. lamp? The chandelier, yeah. Indeed. Take that! Damn, she has some really bad schizophrenia. She saw that. The light picture? This one right here. It has a flame design and is up there on the ceiling. There was never a yokai on a wheel of fire. The kasha you saw was just a lighting fixture. And we're gonna have to do this for all of them. Yeah. Damn, this nigga's stupid. Stupid? <laughs> That's just schizophrenia, bro. We literally just said it. It's only funny when Ichiban does it. Exactly. Yeah. Imagine it's, only when funny when they, it's only funny when Yakuza members have schizophrenia. Look, 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 she hating, look, look. That's one memory back to normal. Nice job. <laughs> now that you got the hang of it, it should be a cinch to point out the rest. Uh. Victory music for fighting schizophrenia. Jinxie, what about this white wall like monster? <laughs> That's Nurakabe. It's the wall monster that blocks your way or leads you astray. This hard is white. Wall. <laughs> That's no yokai, Jinxie. It's a floating screen. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this raccoon dog isn't a tanuki monster. It's just the statue of one. Eek. And look, these are just coffee cups. And this right here, it's nothing more than a fox statue. I don't know what I was thinking. Christ. Damn, this shit broke. And then came oh. back. Only half? We're not done. <laughs> you did it, Apollo. Her extreme fear is under control now. It was all just my eyes playing tricks on me. There weren't any yokai after all. See? A clear cut statement. That's the power of psychology and your intuition, Apollo. And just like we thought, there was never really any yokai in the fox chamber. Dude's like, duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were never really any yokai there. So, the defense is asserting the exact opposite of their original assertion. Wait. Uh, Jinxie, what about Temataro? Please, please, please come and cut you. There wasn't anyone dressed up as Ten Mataro, or any other yokai either. Bruh. Uh, I remember it clearly now. No, you don't. <laughs> You've <laughs> gotta be you joking. joking. <laughs> That's like the second time this has happened. <laughs> and we didn't know she was gonna have schizophrenia. Alright, everybody. Shut up. just killed ourselves, bruh. <laughs> Allow me to push you on it. It's the least I could do. 
No. Uh, Apollo, can I interrupt your freak out for just a minute? I'm still picking up noise. It's an unexpected emotion. Does that mean Jixie hasn't remembered everything yet? Please, God. Exactly. We should still be able to get something else out of her. On to the new information we have and run an update. You're on your own, pal. Did I see Tomataro in the Fox Chamber? Oh, I mean, there's that, uh, surprise emotion. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not too out there, though. X. I was so scared when I entered the room. X. X. And my legs gave out and I fell to the floor. Fell down to yeah. my knees with another one. We are the next one. Oh, there's the update. There in the fox chamber, I saw. <laughs> the alderman dead on the table and Papa collapsed in the chair. Next one. Another update. Nobody else was there, and that includes Tematara. Alright, so we're gonna ignore that because it uh, ruins our argument. Go back. <laughs> before this there in the fox chamber I saw dead in the sleep in the chair well uh how do we play this again I know we're supposed to pinpoint the emotion that is unexpected but like I'm not really sure how surprised is unexpected I'd be surprised too if I saw a dead body you know like go back is the fear still expect unexpected Before this, scared when into the room. Man, hey, hold up. What the fuck? Go through it? It's making a different beat now. Okay. Oh, the different. The surprise. I think it does. Louder. Yeah. Oh, I guess uh, we can go to just, just compare it to the one after this, real quick. Okay, so is that a thing we press or something? Alright, we pinpoint. There's no press. Whatever the shit. I'll do the surprise. Yeah. Tapes. Um. Okay, why the surprise one? The blue one's the one that's different. Guys. <laughs> really I don't know. Kind of, uh, oh, there's no health bar, so let's go. Okay. For sure. No. Well, okay. Let me think. Let me think somewhere. Right. Right. You guys play rock paper scissors for it. Okay. Holy when I shit. Say, hey Siri, flip oh a coin. No, nigga. <laughs> oh, I said, um, I said, I said tails. It's tails. Let's go. Hey, what does tails represent, nigga? Back. For mine versus, I said I'm tails. Can y'all be serious, please? Back. I'm being dead serious. I'm being 100 percent serious. I'm being you didn't explain serious. why. Well, Who didn't explain why? I want to hear Darian's explanation again. I want to. Well, uh, in all the other ones, the sadness was loud, but it's just suddenly quiet here. So why don't we pine out the sadness then? Well, that's what the table suggested. Yeah, um, now that I think about it, I agree with the set. Y'all niggas. <laughs> Y'all are cool as fuck. Y'all are so fire. I just didn't. I don't even know why I originally agreed with Dean, because it, it was clearly wrong, but yeah. I don't even know what to say at this point. It's the fifth game, and. Continue. <laughs> hey, man. You know, we gotta. Um... Some things never change. Uh, the viewers will find that very hilarious and it will give you massive views. The amount of fear you felt is right about you your legs having given out from fright. Something have lessened your fear? Actually, I did experience a sudden burst of courage at that moment. <sighs> Sorry. You did? Where did it come from? Um, 
Uh, let me think. Oh, it was Mama. I suddenly felt as if she was there with me. Okay, I'll enter sudden burst of courage. Now let's see. Ah, uh, look! Apollo, the noise is all gone. Jinxie seems to have remembered everything now. Bye-bye. A sudden burst of courage? Now, where could that have come from? Jinxie, was there something that gave you a sudden burst of courage? Um... Yes, there was, b b um, I, uh, I realized I had done something naughty when I thought about it later. Any idea what could have given Jinxie that courage? Well, there is one piece of evidence that comes to mind. I wonder if she saw something like it at the scene of the crime. Hard. Uh, Jinxie, did your sudden burst of courage have something to do with, uh, this, uh, flower here? Yeah, flower. How convenient. Nine tail flower. Take that! <laughs> didn't even hear him. Just burp. Jinxie, you didn't I happen to see a nine tails flower there at the scene, did you? Understood him through the burp. Oh, God. We locked in like these. The demon oh. lawyer strikes again? I can't hide anything from you. I found a small case with a picture of a nine-tails flower on it. I liked it so much, I kept it. What? Can't remove evidence from the crime scene. Look, Judge. Boy, young lady, removing evidence is a big no-no. No, 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 no. No. The witness will produce said evidence this instant. S -s Sorry. Sorry. How old, is, how old is Jinxie? Because they're, they're really treating her like a little girl. Well, look at Pretty the court sure record. Pretty sure she's 17. Yeah, let's check Look at the court record. record. Pretty sure she's 17. Because we had this argument earlier. 15. 15. Oh, God. Ooh, oh, that geez. is a kid. Hmm. It does seem to be uh, some sort of case. Oh no! Something to learn. It appears to be a key. Do, 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 do. Might I have a look? Your baldness. What? Hmm. The bear ah. key. This is none other than the master key to Kiwi Manor. Are you certain of this, Professor Black? No. It matches the serial number of the key that went missing after the murder. A master key that went missing? Why don't I like the sound of that? Our little scamp here has stumbled upon an article of unimaginable consequence. That's a little melodramatic, don't you think? <laughs> Heed these words, for I shall say them but once. The sole key to the fox chamber has been in this little scamp's constant possession. Uh oh, uh oh. Ergo, now she's she the was killer. the sole person who could have, who could use it before, dur before, during, and after the murder, which leaves the master key as the only other key that could have opened the chamber. But this master key was found in a room that had been locked by this girl. Apollo, if I were you, I would not say this, but he's going to say it anyways. The intro point is... Until Jinxie Tenma opened the fox chamber with her key, the room had been locked tight from the outside world, and there was no one else in there save the victim and his killer. I trust you had figured it out for yourself by now. A killer other than Mayor Tenma himself would be utterly inconceivable. 
No. Every time we find something, it just eat, just bites us in the ass. Like. I disagree with that. <laughs> Athena, save, save us. Can you save us? Save us, wait, wait. Don't say it, Athena. Come on. Black the defense's going. assistant will refrain from growling her frustrations. Athena, are you alright? Go Super Saiyan. No, Mayor Tin was innocent, but there's nothing we can do. This sucks. Sykes, Dono. Allow me to put you out of your misery. Hey, hold on now. Can I decline your offer? <laughs> Abandon your client and your misplaced faith in him. Let the relief of a clear head and a clear conscience come rushing in. That will make the inevitable guilty verdict far easier to accept. Great. Now he's playing Simon Says with us. Well, he's not gonna fool us with his stupid mind games. Athena, don't fall for his tricks. Uh, no, I'm the one who's dazed and confused. Can't even think straight. Hey, are you alright? She fell right into his trap. Now, I suggest you make a mad dash from the courtroom and into the wild blue yonder. Only by running shall your mind be cleared and your conscience be cleansed. Alright, I'll be back in ten! What? No! Uh, stay with me, Athena. Don't let yourself be twisted by that samurai. Mind uh. control for real. Apollo? That was racist. Mr. Uh, Justice, uh, I heard the word objection, but what is it that you object to? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, <clears throat> objection was more of a reflex than anything else. But I was hoping something would come to me while I was trying to stop Athena. The court is winning, Mr. Justice. Though, as it stands now, I'll be forced to declare your client guilty and your legal spills suspect if this is it. And or do you have anything that could overturn this prosecution's case? Um, well, actually I do. I'm Apollo Justice, and I'm fine! Apollo! You do have something more than your cords of steel, don't you? Uh, not really, but uh, we'll be fine. But I've got absolutely nothing if, <laughs> if we're being real, but that's never stopped me before. I have to explain how the real killer could have escaped that locker room and the black, by the way. Because it's all over if I don't zoom in, by the way. Apollo, this calls for a new approach. Try to think outside the box. Or in this case, inside the box. And what a doozy that locker room is, too. It's just too long. I mean, um, well, Mr. Justice? Do you have anything that can counter the prosecution's argument? And hurry up, I got some place to be. <laughs> uh, you bet I do. Get your sweet baby, I do. The real killer must have escaped from the locked room one way or another. Fake conjecture shall only earn you a taste of my blade, Justice Dono. Get your horny ass on. Er, uh, time to do or die, literally. The defense will now explain how it would be possible to escape from the locked room and once again, chop chop. Are you sure about this, Apollo? Can you really explain what happened? I'm fine. Just need to think. This whole escaping a locked room thing over from the beginning. I love escape rooms. So let's see. If the killer had escaped, could they have done so? Voices are pretty limited. The room has a window, but... It doesn't open wide enough for anyone to get through, and there's a sheer cliff outside. Hmm? As for the air vent... Boom, 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 boom. It's up too high, and there's nothing you could stand on to reach it. And needless to say, there's no doors. The Forbidden Chamber wouldn't open no matter what we did, so that's out. Uh, yeah, that's why we gotta keep the solution simple. Like 
they say simple is best. Need to rule out all of the absolutely impossible escape routes. And whatever's left just might lead us. How the fuck are we Your Honor, the defense proposes that this killer escape through here. They really convinced that the air duct wouldn't work when we saw them go through the foyer, so it had to. Well. Boom, 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 boom. boom. And go through the window. They said no forbidden chain, no duck, no window, no doors. The place that they could have gone through was that door down there. What door down there? Oh, that one? Well, didn't they just say it was locked? Uh, they said the forbidden chamber was locked. No, earlier, when they were talking about the key, remember? Was that not the key to the forbidden chamber? Am I, or am I tripping? I think it was, but I mean... Is connected. Should it be like under where that duct is? No, uh, from the left side. Under to the left. Under. Like, like. Like the space in the floor. Yeah, oh. like in the. I guess that's a hallway or something. The hallway itself, you're saying? Hallway. Yeah, sure. click on the hallway. I'd imagine that's where they're getting at. Where did they escape from? So, like, where did they escape the fox chamber oh. from? I honestly want to say the window, but they said, like, oh, it was a sheer cliff. But if we were talking about that Tin Mataro shit again, it was like, oh, nigga flew. We found a shit in the river, like that mask shit in the river. And I'm just like, damn. Uh, but they're, like, convinced it. it. But they're convinced it's not, at least they're not, they're convinced it's not the window. But I kept thinking it's the window. Honestly. Hmm. I don't fucking know. We only got two uh, bars of health, so. Uh, make sure you make sure you save. No. Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll just do it again. <laughs> Click on the window. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Cause I'm always wrong. Take that. Hmm. I just how the killer skip through there, Mr. Justice. Your reasoning skills seem as questionable as proposed the escape route. I wish I could escape right now. <laughs> you didn't even say none. I'm afraid there's no escaping a penalty for your random guessing, Mr. Justice. Fine, I'll say. Gonna have to do better. Also, they said earlier that it's not even just that the sheer window, like the cliff thing, it's the fact that it doesn't open all the way. Ah, okay. Alright, well, if the... They keep claiming there's no way to get into the air duct. I don't know. If he didn't go through the forbidden chamber, didn't go through the window, and didn't go through the air duct, they probably just left the same way they came back in. Even so, though it was to locked? The, to the door? The front door. Fuck Even it. Though it was... I, I don't remember them saying the door was locked. Go to the history. Co correct me if I'm wrong. How far back do we need to go? When they mention the key. <laughs> These are reading that shit. Go down two uh, scrolls. Oh shit. I was gonna little, say, I don't know why we're talking about a front a more door down. if it was locked. And. A little more down. Let me turn this shit. All right, go back. I just click that fucking door over. Sure, man. Maybe the, maybe a pause button something out of this. Yeah. Awesome shit. They're gonna set it first. Oh, Take that. Well, I guess it was the, the first place. door. Well, yes, I suppose that would be the only way out. Yeah, I'm like Black Will right now. It would appear you've already forgotten. The only available key until Jinxy Tenma came on the scene was within that locked room. Also, they literally eliminated every other possibility beforehand, so there was only really one option. And they said the answer simple. <laughs> yeah, they, uh... I was about to mention how I didn't like the, how they did that, but yeah, I guess it was hard enough. I mean, I, like, I, mean, I didn't think it was hard enough. I just, you know, I mean, 
I just, you just I mean, guessed it. Keep the answer how, simple. How would one exit the fox chamber and then lock it with a key? Hmm. Well, I should have seen this coming. Remember, Apollo, keep it simple. Keep going. Simple. Right. I could understand if the killer had exited the room with the key, but... Well, Mr. Justice, the prosecution has some fine Japanese steel waiting. Unless you would explain yourself quickly. Wow. Bro, what is he that, cutting please? me with? Like, I'm fine. I can explain myself. The reason the Fox Chamber hallway door was locked was because... They're locked there from the outside. Bottom one. I guess. What if the room was locked from the outside? In other words, the killer took the key through the hallway door and then... Consider this. The master key was found inside the toughly locked fox chamber. And the assertion that the key was removed from that room is a blatant contradiction of fact. Exiting the room before locking the door would require taking the key outside. But the key was found inside the room, which does seem like a contradiction. I'm never gonna make it to the store. <laughs> damn. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did they make this particular chapter so damn long? Oh. <laughs> if only we uh, could explain both. Cause... Like how the key could be inside the room and be used to lock the door from the outside. Don't worry, Blue, I'm gonna lock in. I was eating uh, Chick fil A stuff. Well, let's see if the defense can respond before Prosecutor Blackwell draws his sword. How Mix it down. Could he be at the crime scene despite the room being locked tight? Door wasn't open. Ain't nobody a locksmith. I guess the middle, bro. Yep. I mean, I guess. Oh my. Boom, boom, boom. They threw it. They threw it in the vent, bro, and it slid in there. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. What if someone threw it into the room from the outside? You know, something like. Uh, what was that supposed to be from? L.A. Noir? Look at Among Us. Us. Among Us. I just Among didn't finish it. <laughs> he didn't finish it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hallway door, lock the room, then toss the key right back through the window. That would explain how the master key could be inside the locked room. Your dumb white ass up, Apollo. No, that's not it. It's the vent. And where would you throw it from? There's a cliff outside the fox chamber's window. Throwing the key in from the in, in from there is an impossibility. <laughs> this dude smells. Oh right. <laughs> Wonder if the key could have been tossed from somewhere other than the window. Damn, you're really just all right. Somewhere other than the window? Hmm. Where could the key have been tossed through from the, 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 the bed? Which side of the air does it? Dead ass matter, bro. Oh. Nigga, the one in the hallway! No! Ah! You picked the wrong thing! <laughs> Keep going. The bourbon? Yes, the window may, have, may be out of the question, but the vent is not. Oh, that's right! The fox chamber air does. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I'm gonna explain how they we threw that long ass shit over there, but you know, we move. Well, it's very simple. Beat out into the hallway. I would need to know the angling of it. Just bounced it. <laughs> uh, That's right. The LeBron, real killer the key. The air duct from the vent outside the fire. Oh, so they just walked in there. And dropped the key into the room through the vent inside the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> That's preposterous. Oh, that explains how the key got in there after it was used to lock the door perfectly. Mr. Ghostess, um, I'm afraid I'm a bit confused. Explain to the old man. You gotta lock in, Judge. I'll explain it so even your honor can understand. <laughs> First, the real killer disguised as Temataro murdered the alderman in the fox chamber. Then they fled the room through the hallway door and locked it. Next, they entered the air duct from the vent outside the hallway. They fucking vented. 
Finally, the killer tossed the key into the room through the air vent in the ceiling there. All that was left to, to uh, all that was left to do was after uh, uh, go to the. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, Your Honor, could that be any clearer? Why is it well, the gavel? I mean, even I can follow that. Wow. So I the gavel. <laughs> the judge. The judge seems really pleased. That explains everything. The real killer was someone dressed up like Ten Mataro. And there was someone else in the room, uh, other than the mayor and, uh, oh God, I don't know Alderman. Eh, whoa! That was total turnabout! Massive forehead has <laughs> seems a lot more attractive now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've proved a possible third party, I'm gonna see how our, our client could be guilty. Silence! I disagree, actually. Here we go, bro. False, false, A false, valiant false. effort, Justice Dono, but your final thrust missed its mark. Uh. Uh. Both that little scamp and the Trixie Tanuki saw the yokai after it left the room. But then what? Did that irksome yokai simply go through the foyer and waltz right out of the front door? Well, yeah, that's exactly what happened. The killer fled from the. <laughs> That is impossible, without being spotted by the foyer security camera, that is. The electric eye here would have captured any pesky little yokai trying to escape. It would have turned red and burned him. However, there is no sign of Tenmatao anywhere in the security footage. What? Save for the foyer entrance, there is no other way to flee the manor, is there? Well, uh, the bitch didn't uh, feel so good. Actually, I believe there is uh, one other way to escape the foyer entrance, other than the foyer entrance, yeah. There's a large window in the foyer. It's possible to escape through there without being seen by the security camera, duh. Hey, you're right! Silence! Uh... <laughs> Must I point out every crucial detail to the defense? It seems you lack not only brains, but investigative prowess to boot. That is the cliff side of the manor. The only killer escaping that way would be a dead one. Ah! Wait, so the killer didn't escape out the foyer window? Well, yeah, bitch. What the heck, right? Ha! I suppose your next proposal is the killer sprouted wings and flew off into the sunset. I would mean the killer really was a yokai. If only we had some sort of evidence that could point to a flying killer. Who's <laughs> saying we don't? <laughs> as completely far-fetched as it might be. What? You're saying you can prove that the killer could fly? A flying ice cream truck. Why don't we? Why don't we just? Can we just like skip this padding and just go? Never mind. Whoa! I thought I was the one with the cords. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Bro, if you need to go to the store that bad, we could always just pause. Like you know? it, it's too late now. I can't. It's. <laughs> you can't go to the store at ten. It closes what? at ten. Oh. You got five minutes. You can like what? It's too late, bro. He's got. It's probably not that close. Anyway, what just? Uh, what if it's got the kill for the Should have door dash, oh. bro. We have. Uh, yeah, should have uh, door dash. We have the flying uh, Ten Mataro. We have the the flying Dutchman. Choose that. The special edition paper. Remember, we only got one health left. Right? Like, we gotta gotta lock in. Holy fuck. Home. Take a look at the special edition paper. Dutch? Then are real or flight of fancy. No. What does this article prove, Mr. Justice? Can you stop playing with your rose toy and call tables? The photo in that article was taken shortly after the murder. Maybe the yokai in that photo was the killer shortly after they fled out the window? Mr. Justice. 
You're not surely suggesting. Oh, I'm serious. I mean, it all adds up. Killer, disguised as Ten Mataro, flew away. You know, by some way or another. Silence! I don't believe in paragliding. It is your brain that has flown off the coop. That image is not but trick photog photography or some other form of article, uh, artifice. Photoshop? Okay, then how about the Ten Mataro figure Mr. Filch saw? It just vanished in the thin air? No, there is a rational common sense explanation for that. That infernal yokai, our Trixie Tanuki witness, never reached the entrance. He, or should I say she, turned back before the camera's electric eye. Uh-oh, here we go. Sh she I don't like where this is going. Now, the fact that we know that yokai had come from the fox chamber means that it was likely either Maya, Ten Maya Damien Tenma or his daughter Jinxie Tenma. However, we know that Maya Tenma was already unconscious at that time. Hello! Oh, not good. Not good at all. Do you understand the gravity of the situation now, Justice Dono? The falsified yokai remnants. And the appearance of Ten Mataro were the work of one individual. And that individual is none other than Jinxie Tenma. Um. So why did Jinxie Tenma murder? Uh, try to. Uh, never mind. We don't care about. Ah, Damn no! I knew it. That girl was always a killer. I knew it. She's a killer. Order. Order. The defense will stop competing for the greatest freakout ever. <laughs> the little scamp was, no doubt, simply trying to protect her father. And it's no wonder that her superstitious mind conjured up this mad masquerade. Prosecutor Blackwell's assertion makes perfect sense to me. It's far more convincing that the killer escaped by flying out of the window. <laughs> Did you truly believe this could end any other way? I'll ride into his trap. What are we doing now, Apollo? Case no longer stands without a real yokai. We had one. Bailiff, seize her. It is time I interrogated her as the samurai of your wo wood. Killing? Is that Phoenix is coming in clutch? It's the dad. It's gonna be the dad. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Oops, my media literacy is in the gutter. Mayor Tenma! <laughs> Says nothing. <laughs> this farce is over. How does it feel seeing your own daughter accused of a cover-up most foul? Tenma Taro's true identity is... Now, now, Mr. Mayor, it would be futile at this point to claim you were the yokai. After all, you had been knocked out cold by a blow to the skull. Slipping into a yokai costume and roaming about the manor would be all but impossible. Oh, but they didn't say that earlier, I'm just saying. Consider this well. As it stands, your daughter will be arrested for obstruction of justice. But if you confess, the prosecution would be willing to overlook her little yokai farce. <laughs> That it had an intense pass? <laughs> Wait. Apollo! Prosecutor Blackwell's up to his mind control! Again. Mayor, Ten Mayor Tenma, no! Don't fall for his twisted words! If you're sent away from murder, Jinxie will be left alone! The real killer is. Mayor Tenma's gonna confess unless we do something! I can't prove how the real killer could have flown away. Kaka, Kaka, look upon me in despair, for ripe is the time for my return. Uh huh. Oh, cut. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Kaka. <cut. laughs> Demonic shit. Fade to black. Oh shit. Kaka, Kaka, 
Foolish mortals, I am Tenmataro, the yokai you seek. Um, Air Tenma. Silence! I am Tenmataro, freed from the bonds binding me to the forbidden chamber. Behold, the return of the Demon King. What the? Demon King? That dude was like, take a vacation! Oh shit, we're all gonna die! Just kidding, demons are real, bruh. That's the perfect uh, I need, opportunity I need to go to the store. <laughs> I need Apollo and Athena to like, lock in on their body language, like, come on. The witness uh, will, uh, he will explain himself. Are you saying that you were Tinmatara? The Yogi we've been chasing this whole time? Indeed, it is I, Tenmataro, the one whom you seek, come to reveal the truth. This child is Tenmataro, you say? Ha! <laughs> what nonsense. So, uh, Mayor Tenma, is a yokai now? Ka ka ka! My, his body is now mine! So you're saying that Mayor Tenma is. Being possessed by you? And that's the yokai Jinxie Tenma and Fit is built so? And the one captured in the newspaper photo? Those were all you? The accursed power of these warding charms prevents me from revealing my true form. <laughs> Your boldness! Can this not be interpreted as an admission of guilt? Well, a person by yokai would be quite unprecedented. Be that as it may, the defense's case has been overturned. What? You claim the yokai little scamp saw some third party, the true killer. The one who escaped the fox the locked fox chamber, but it was the accused all along. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Your yokai turned out to be a real, in a manner of speaking. For the alderman's killer is none other than Maya Tenma. And the yokai at the scene? That too was Maya Tenma. Or should I say, our dear Tenma Taro. The pieces have all fallen into place. Uh, how so, Prosecutor Blackwell? <laughs> it seems I must spell it all out for you. Maya Tenma killed the Alderman in the Fox Chamber, which was locked at the time. He then removed the warding charms from the Forbidden Chamber's door, but then fell unconscious from the blow the Alderman had delivered to his head. That is when his daughter, Jinxie Tenma, stumbled on the scene of the crime. The little scamp fled in terror, whereupon the spirit of Temataro Freed at last from the charm's warding effect, took possession of the mayor. Oh, but demons are real. The newly freed Tenmataro then fled from the fox chamber. So you see, the yokai Jinxie, Ten Jinxie Tenma saw was her father being possessed by Tenmataro. Can you literally just say we're stupid for thinking that? But when we arrived on the scene, the mayor was found unconscious. How is it? How is that possible if he was supposed to have flown out the foyer window? Then what? Do you mean to say the maid of Kiwi Manor, Jinxie Tenma, was Tenma Taro? Oh shit. Fire! Ka ka ka! That too is easily explained. Flew about for a t flew about for a time, did I? But presently tired, I made for the Forbidden Chamber. But alas, exhaustion took me unawares in the Fox Chamber, and I knew no more. It would seem the pieces are still in place. Blackwell up to his tricks again. I don't know what to say. Is the defendant a real life? Do they remember about Mayor Tenma is true? I, I knew you, Kai Wario. I knew it! You mean it really good? You mean it did that shit? Order, order. Now he's got everyone in the courtroom believing yokai are real. 
Simon says on steroids. He wants to convict our client any way he can, even if it means blaming a yokai. And he just blamed a yokai earlier and he called us at The proverbial stupid. ducks are all in a row. You should now have no qualms about finding the accused guilty, your baldness. Mm, this is one of the most bizarre cases in my entire career. Otherworldly, in fact. Even though I've dealt with actual spirit mediums. But anyway, can your guy even be prosecuted under our legal system? Objection! No! Mayor Tenma is just pretending to be Tenma Taro to protect his daughter. Plus, I already proved how a third party would have escaped from the locked room. A verdict at this point would be premature. Hmm. Well, since all sides have raised valid points, I have no choice. <laughs> this is the dark age of the law, where defense attorneys are not to be trusted. This is but a ploy to gain time for them to fabricate evidence. How will I sleep tonight? Looks like you Knowing sleep you much. We'll let the sun rise in the mayor's day of reckoning, Justice Dono. Objection! We'll not let the sun rise. I won't fabricate any evidence. Silence. I'm not Phoenix. I'm just kidding. If you go over then there. prove it by joining me. A night in the clink will ensure you will not succumb to temptation. You really said go hang out in jail. I mean, shit, I'll do it. I'm hard bodied. I mean, <laughs> how about I just promise. No, too late, too late. We both have evidence and a confession. The killer is this yokai before us. It is beyond dispute. A guilty verdict is all but. Electrocution? Ah! 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 Where'd that come from? Well, what? What's wrong with him? Oh, he came in. Prosecutor Blackwell, we've had enough of your hijinks. Why didn't you do that sooner? The foundation of justice is fair play, and you are in serious violation of that. <sighs> what in the devil was that? Fool, Bright, have you tampered with my shackles in some manner? Ha ha ha! It seems you found that quite shocking. It's my special jolt of justice device. Each press is a shocking reminder to behave. You shall pay for this. I, Simon Balquill. Ah, God. Your Honor! <laughs> Mods. <laughs> you need not fret for now. I behave, Prosecutor Blackwell will remain on his best behavior. I believe he will be so on his best behavior. That might coming clutch. <laughs> Mods. <laughs> A bit late with the reassurances, aren't we, Detective? Well, in the practice. <laughs> This concludes today's deliberations. Holy shit, this was three hours. The prosecution defense will use this opportunity to further their investigations. This court is adjourned. And I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. What a way to end it. Table, shut the fuck up.